Weather Authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Hey everybody, it's been pretty busy west of the area. Again, west of our viewing area. Here's what it looks like on the Dorset Automotive Doppler Radar. Our viewing area, nothing right now, but we expected this to come in this evening. A line of storms out here crossing through the central portion of Illinois. And right there, it's kind of hard to see, but when we put these hatch lines in there with the tornado warning, that means confirmed there's actually been a, a tornado spotted. Again, that is west, west of our viewing area, but that's that warning area right there. I'm going to come back and give you a tour on radar here in just a little bit. I wanted to show you this great picture here. Charles sent me this. This was from our first round of severe weather on Tuesday night of this week. Great picture with some lightning. This was up at Mansfield, Indiana in Park County. We will have more lightning tonight. These storms are going to be big lightning producers and also some gusty winds in them. So again, our second round of severe weather moves in during the overnight hours tonight. We do have a severe thunderstorm watch for our far southwestern two counties of Effingham and Clay to 8 o'clock Illinois time. I would not be shocked to see that expanded to include some additional parts of our viewing area here this evening as the storms are getting closer now. Temperature Temperature wise, really warm today. We hit 79 for the high, but not a record. 86, the record high set back in the year of 1958. We haven't gotten any rainfall yet, but as you saw on radar, it's just a matter of time before that moves in. We're at 4.95 inches so far for the month. Here's what we have as far as the Wabash River in Terre Haute. It is coming back down, but still pretty high, 20 feet there in Terre Haute. So what are we tracking? Well, Obviously, storms tonight. There's no doubt about that. Dry and cooler tomorrow. Cool weekend. Maybe some patchy frost, actually. And then warming up next week, at least getting back into the 60s for a while, it looks like, as we head into next week. Right now at the airport in Terre Haute, look at that. 78, but the pressure's falling rapidly now as our storms start to head this way. We got some 80s in the southern county, so it is really warm out there. Here's our joint water tower forecast. We take you over to Linton, Indiana. Obviously, heavy thunderstorms tonight as they'll be moving through the area. Water vapor satellite, this is the area that we're looking at. Here's the deep moisture west of the area, showers and storms developing and moving into our area now, just west of here. You can start to see this line as it heads our way, and that's the line that we're looking at. So here's a radar tour for you. Nothing going on locally right now, but you can see off to the west of this area, the showers and the thunderstorms out there. We have all of these storms from Springfield all the way down to near the St. Louis area, including couple of tornado warned areas out there. When you see where it says observed, that means it's been spotted or confirmed on radar and then radar indicated. So we have a couple of different tornado warnings out there. We're going to take you in closer. And again, to give you an idea, our viewing area is over here. So it's still a ways off, but you can definitely see these storms are heavy, a lot of lightning, some hail, but reported in these as well. Take you down closer to the St. Louis area. You can see St. Louis is way down here. We have additional tornado warnings there as well. I mean, it's a pretty solid line of storms. These are going to be big time wind producers, going to be the main thing, but there are some small tornadoes spinning up in it. You can see the movement. Everything is moving east at about 35 miles per hour, so it's a matter of time before some of this starts to move in. I've also been watching a real heavy cell down here in southern Illinois. Earlier, it was producing baseball size hail. It's moving northeast. It's not near this area, but we'll have to watch. Eventually, we may see a new watch issued for this, which may clip some of our our southern counties, but you can still see producing some hail and some wind out of that cell. So let's talk about the timing. Moving into our western counties here, probably in less than two hours by 8 or 8.30 Eastern time. Moving across the state line, probably closer to 9.30 or 10. And most of this clearing our area by 1 a.m. So between 8 p.m. Eastern and 1 a.m., most of this should move out of here. Behind this, dry, calmer weather tomorrow. No more big storms, but definitely cooler weather, though, as we take you for Friday into the upcoming weekend. But stay weather aware tonight because we got these storms and are moving in our direction. So forecast night, showers and storms move in, some of those strong to severe, 49 for the low. Then during the day tomorrow, the thunderstorms are long gone, much cooler. Daytime high tomorrow only hits 60. That's it. It's going to be cool for the weekend as well. Highs only in the upper 50s. We could see upper 30s both Sunday morning and Monday morning, maybe some patchy frost. Temperatures do get back into the 60s though by the first part of next week. Now time for sports.